Namaste. Namaste, beloveds. I hope everybody is doing fine, better than fine, perfect. <laughs> you know, sometimes in past I used to do two videos on every full moon. Maybe this will come back, who knows? Because I love the moon so much. But actually last time I forgot some major points. Some major points I forgot on the full moon. Gemini full moon that is coming on Saturday and Friday. So I just had to do another video because these points were very important. And here we go again. Some speak 10 minutes on the moon. I speak two hours. <laughs> so it is. But this is my moon. Gemini. Full moon. 2018. You know? So I make two videos. I forgot something very important. And maybe I will do two videos on every moon. Because I am the moon. Moon is I that I don't see in this world with this left I that was never with me this life. I know I given up this eye for the moon to see what moon I see. I see you. So Gemini, full moon, 23rd or 24th, regardless where you are in the world, regarding where you are in the world, 2018. This Gemini bringing you Gemini full moon again. And this video is to be better because these are more beautiful points. So, you know, mindfulness. I was not mindful enough to tell you everything. I spoke only 45 minutes and I played the flute. And I should speak like usually, one hour and something. Then I will go into everything. So here we go again, you know. And mindfulness is actually my first point on second part of Gemini full moon video mindfulness you have to be mindful mindful conscious aware i know i'm lacking my mindfulness i'm fire enlightened fire and sometimes i get smacked because of this be mindful how you speak your truth to whom you speak how you present in which words i'm autistic abstract poet like Salvador Dali was painter and what I mean when I say something and what others understand I'm not mindful always enough to get it that people will not understand maybe what I say and then they say something I don't like you know and then I get sensitive and I have to give them some teaching but we have to be mindful mindful how we present our truth so people can get it most that they can i can confuse people so much and through years i give you my word i have confused many so much but i didn't mean to because mindfulness sometimes missing in me i am fire i'm not water Many think enlightenment is peaceful Buddha. Well, this is if you are water. But if you are fire, then you are fire. <laughs> fire of love. But I have to be mindful, fire. If I'm not mindful, I can burn somebody sometimes. And I don't mean to. By being too harsh, presenting them truth, and not mindful to their suffering. I'm learning this. I'm getting better every day at it, you know, because life teaches me, you know. If I'm not mindful, these things happen to me, and somebody is inconsiderate to me. So, we are always getting better, we are always learning, and we have to be mindful. Mindful. We are presenting our truth. It works, whatever we do. Like I said, be mindful. How, to whom, where. 
people will get confused. And especially, you know, in uh, full moon Gemini, Mercury stands still. Then it goes direct. Now it's retrograde. And when it's Mer Mercury retrograde, so much confusion. And on the day when it stands still, can be even more. That's why mindfulness is very important. On this intense full moon, I have to learn to be more silent. You know, silence is very big key in this moon. I live in the heart, but my mind is crazy like anything. If I would live in my mind, I would create all kind of bullshit. My heart controlling me. I'm the heart. Mind is my crazy mind is instrument to give you all the crazy teachings and crazy stuff I give you all the time. You know? Hmm. But silence is golden. You know, mind can get so much hot sometimes and sometimes just saying too much and we have to stop a little bit, be mindful, be silent. So if I'm silent, I don't say nothing in messenger, I don't say nothing there. This is my nature. You know, I don't answer a question here. Silence answered you more. But I'm mindful to give you this teaching. So be mindful. Be mindful to yourself and others. Gemini energy can take you all over the air. Wada boom! You know, flying. And we may say things we should not say. Then we, if I can say like this, fuck it up. And we don't want to. And then we have to deal with the confusion that we never wanted to deal with. You have to be mindful, you know? And sometimes silence is best mindfulness. And I'm teaching myself now. Because this crazy guy, he don't know how to be silent. <laughs> I'm not here to be silent, actually. <laughs> but I have to be mindful, you know? I love you. Be mindful. As I said, to whom you speak, how you speak, which words you choose, and like this. If you are an abstract poet, I have to give some things hidden. So I cannot be mindful. Everybody will get confused by abstract poetry. And everybody will see their own reality in it. So what to do? But I have to be mindful. You know, because I'm also sensitive. And then if we are not mindful and we are sensitive, and we deal with confusion and we get sensitive. And confusion in such strengthened energies can be very much in the air. And we don't need that. We don't need that. Like this. So mindfulness. Mindfulness. I actually should last time be mindful enough to look on my paper. Then I would not for forget points. You know? And I will not forget points. And I really made the video this again, but uh, because of my one brother who's suffering so much, he cannot accept the change that the relationship ended. And he's still suffering and dwelling in this. And when I saw his pain, my heart bleeded. You know, too much. Stop. Stop, it's over. Why are you torturing yourself? In this time, changing. Things change. When things don't work anymore, we have to let go. If we won't let go, change for better will not come. I remember one meme. I will try to find it and post it later. There was a Jesus with big teddy bear behind his back. And little girl was holding little teddy, gay, teddy bear. And Jesus telling her, trust me. And she was, no, but I love him. <laughs> and she had such a small teddy bear. But Jesus hidden behind himself, big teddy bear in his size. He would just, she would just let go of that. He said, trust me. She will get that big teddy bear. But she was like, no, I love him. 
I love him. No, I'm crying. <laughs> you know? So let go. Let go. I actually also changed. You see, I'm wearing a pink uh, sweater. I wanted to dye my uh, white stuff into some color. But for some reason, I chose pink and it feels amazing. It feels so beautiful. Ah, it's so beautiful, so lovely. <laughs> so soft. White is not practical. It gets dirty all the time. And it's difficult to wash. You know, pink is better. <laughs> I could choose other color, but I say, why not pink? Let it be pink, you know? I never had anything pink, so let it be pink, and I feel amazing. It's so soft and so beautiful, you know? So change. If it's over, it's over. If it's suffering, if it's draining you. I know when things end, relationships end. You cannot heal like this. I tell you, heal and you are healed. You cannot heal like this. It needs time. But I tell you some another thing. If you are holding on and dwelling and fighting and draining yourself and torturing yourself, not letting go, your healing will not even start. Your pain will get intense and more intense and more intense. I'm not saying you can heal in one day a broken heart from a long relationship, but when you let go and you don't look back, even if they are screaming and kicking and blaming you for all the shit in your their life, you will heal quickly. I did this with my ex-girlfriend six years ago. He was blaming me for everything and for what her father did to her. <laughs> I don't know how, because that time I was a very small boy. I could not be responsible for that, what her father did to her. She was kicking and screaming and blaming and all this stuff. I never answered her message again. I never answered her call. I blocked her on Facebook. I blocked her there. I blocked her here. I blocked her on my phone. I blocked her everywhere. And I was praying for her. I hope she heals one day. You know, change, change. You have to let go. And three years ago, she came on Facebook, please help me. And I said, I will help you. And then after just some little time, she again started, what if I tell them all what you did to me? And she was blocked again. You know, again, she started to blaming me when it was six years ago. What if I tell them what you did to me? She said, this is so awful, you know, so awful. And relationships are ending and this is actually actual story from one of my brothers that I'm observing one now for some time and I want him to stop tagging me in this shit because it hurts me. He never listens So what. I made a video for him. He said I helped him, but he is still letting him to blame him and kick him and all this and it's over. He knows it's over. I just cannot take this. I could help my ex-girlfriend, but she started again saying stuff, blaming me for everything. And then I cannot help her. I can only pray for her. And you should allow yourself, beloved angel, to stop people treating you like this. You should allow things that need to end, they end. So it is, this is new earth, this is fifth dimension. What isn't working will not work. Finished. You know, choose love. And what is working is probably to work. So go after it. Don't choose fear. If you see it's not working, let go, heal. And if something new is opening, change to better. Something so beautiful. Maybe it's twin flame relationship. Twin flame relationships are so intense. It can be very intense. Energy can make you want to run away. But if it's working, if it's beautiful, if you see yourself in them, give love the chance. Don't choose fear. 
Don't run away. No. Try it. Maybe you will all your life after think about it. Why I didn't give a chance. Because of my fear. Maybe I could be happy. But now I will never know. And if you cannot end something that God wants to end, you will end yourself. You know, you will end yourself only. End it. Finish. Like I said, if it's drama, they're blaming you. If they kick and scream. They're draining you. It's finished. Hasta la vista, baby. It's gone. Allow yourself. Because God has something better for you. And if something better is visible, go after it. Give love a chance. Love yourself, you know. In fifth dimension, we don't suffer anymore. What is suffering is not. It's just source teaching us what is not fifth dimension and what we have to let go. No more compromises. No more settling. No, this is not fifth dimension settling. I have to change like this. I have to be like this. I have to accept this shit because I don't want to be alone. Yes, they make me suffer. Yes, they. but I don't want to be alone, they say. I'm better to have somebody who beats me up a little bit than to be alone. That's 3D. That's settling. That's settling. Stop settling. This is being with someone with wrong reason. There's no reason to be with someone, actually. Just love. When you have so many reasons. But they give me that, they provide me that, I'm not alone. You're just in your mind convincing yourself. Like one of my brother, he also saying, I read his heart, I read his mind. He is actually suffering. But in his mind, he has so many reasons why to stay in this relationship. And I'm just, please stop telling me that I read your fucking mind. I don't want to read two separate stories. Just be silent. You know, because when true love is there, you just love because of love. You don't have to give yourself reasons to convince yourself why you stay in that relationship. No, no, no. You have the reason here, just love. And that's enough. That's why I never choose fear. Never choose fear. No. Oh. Fear sometimes something good is opening to us and we are afraid. <gasps> Fear is false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real is fear. It will rob you from heaven, maybe from your greatest happiness that is ever possible in your life. And may come only once, God knows. If you never give a chance, if you follow the fear, you will never know. <laughs> you will never know. So let go of what is over. Let go of what hurts. And go into what is beautiful. What feels like you. What matches your vibration. Who loves you for who you are. It's time. Sometimes it's not easy to look yourself in a mirror if mirror is another person and give the mirror a chance. <laughs> I love doing this. These videos and this just you feel me how I feel when I'm doing this. It's my purpose. It's who I am. I'm true to myself when I do this.
and I'm lying to myself when I want to suffer in messenger and then I get upset because <laughs> it should just be silent <laughs> I am usually <sighs> that's another point of this video be your truth be true to your truth doesn't others don't have to accept it others don't have to understand it others don't have to agree with it but you can only and you must be your truth and you must speak your truth and you must do your truth and you must be truthful about it to everyone and to yourself <laughs> I don't know why I'm smiling even. <laughs> it's just so I feel. I want everybody to feel like this. I'm always truthful to myself. I always follow energies. I'm not holding on. I'm a good student. I'm a best student, although I don't take advice from no one, only from God. But I'm a good student of life. I learn in other ways. I'm truthful to you now when I tell you I almost hate messenger. I know hate is not a good word, but it's quite <laughs> how it is. When I'm telling you, I don't take advices. I'm true to myself. Because I get advices in a ways you cannot imagine. And when I sometimes light a joint, I'm also truthful to myself. And you know, in in past, past videos, I didn't want to do this. I was thinking, people will judge me. People will think of me. I'm not a master. But I was not because I was actually thinking this and hiding. You know, now I'm good enough with God knowing my truth. So if you judge me for me loving Mary Jane here, I could not care less. My truth would not change. So just because the point of this video is be truthful, don't hide, I'm to light it up again. Mm. And I don't smoke medicinal, it's weed. Actually medicinal, people say medicinal only because they are ashamed. Medicinal is actually more strong than this one for sure. These people, it's a word and people think that others now accept because it's medicine, but it's same shit. This is medicine also. Maybe also better because it's not so strong. <laughs> I'm truthful to myself here. I could hide this maybe, and maybe some of people would not judge me. But from time to time I light it up in my video. Not many times. It's not what my videos are for. But when it goes in a concept, I'm to be truthful to myself and I am to show it in front of everybody who watches. Be truthful to yourself, you know? And yes, we have to do. I didn't do one video about Mary Jane and about medicine and risks. Yeah, I'll speak about risks also. Not only glorifying. I'm truthful to myself and to everybody else, always speaking my truth out, showing you my truth. I have no secrets, no secrets. Hmm. And if there is some secret, I'm waiting to reveal it so eagerly in my heart, but I just cannot at this moment, maybe. But I don't want to have no secrets. I want to hide yourself nothing. This is me. I'm smoking weed here now. And I'm loving it. And it's better than McDonald's, I give you my word. <laughs> I was not in McDonald's for 20 years, so it's good. Actually, soon after that, I ended meat. But I'm loving it. <laughs> you know? And everything is working up. I don't even have to look into the paper. The next point I wanted to speak about this, yes, McDonald's. 
change for better. I wanted to speak the other day about this change to better. Because I see people are suffering, people are suffering, people are suffering. And change your diet. Then I go on their pages and I see steaks. And I wonder if you would stop eating that shit, suffering of other beings, which is not designed for you. Your stop suffering would stop. You would stop opposing. You will stop acting like people owe you something. You will stop all this shit, you know. And then sometimes I give, they come crying to me how they suffer darkness, attacking and all this. I tell them, I tell, I told you anything. Now I told you to tell you the truth. Stop eating meat and this will end. You are consuming darkness. You are consuming suffering of beings that didn't want to die and were not designed to die for you. But actually want to live. And you eating your their fear, their pain. Change to better. Back to the Garden of Eden, Genesis 1. What is written there? What God has given human being to eat so we are going back we are going back to beginning you know and we have to change this we have to give our chance the chance for better somebody says to me yes 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 but uh, but uh, but uh, 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 plants are also living beings plants are also living beings they also live yes they are they just stand still there they don't want to escape. If you want to kill a goat without tightening her up, she will escape. Broccoli will not escape. And another thing is, it's designed for you, for human being. And goat is not, and pig. And that's why we suffer. We consume pain and suffering of other living beings. And we get pain and suffering and darkness in return. You know? Can you understand this? It's just physics. In giving, we receive. In receiving, we get. What we are putting in, we get. We are eating beings that didn't want to die. We will feel their death and their fear. It's just like that. It's just easy like that. And I tell you, many times I see this is the only thing that will stop your suffering. No advice. I'm giving you nothing. You have to stop this first, then you will understand my advice. And many times I see, many times I see, it's going for years, darkness attacking me, darkness attacking me, I'm purging so hard, I'm purging so hard, oh God, please help me, oh please help me. But I asked them one year ago, please stop eating meat, when they came to me with the same problem. The darkness is attacking them. And even today, they don't stop. They don't condemn weed. I was six years without it. Meat is actually the worst addiction of human being in this world. It causes more suffering than ever. It doesn't destroy you like heroin in years, few years, but it gives you great suffering. And I tell to those, if you would stop one year ago when I told you, you will not come here with me now, telling me this, will be past for you already. So easier. Darkness stops attacking you when you no more do that. You can let go easily of attachments. You can let go of all drama. You can let go of everything if you stop eating meat. You become more mindful. You, your vision becomes more clear. Your multidimensional spiritual super senses get activated. 
You get things you can never get if you don't stop. And I'm not saying this, you know I'm not preacher like vegans. I'm not condemning anybody. I'm not trying to be better than anyone. I actually want others to be better than me. And I say this out of compassion because I see I see what kind of suffering is causing. And I see myself when I was eating meat. What was my state? And I tell you, if you never stopped, and like I said, don't condemn me about wheat, I stopped for six years. But if you never stopped eating meat, then don't tell me nothing about it. You have no experience what it is if you didn't stop. You're only holding on to your addiction. And it's causing you so much pain. And this, I'm speaking this so heavenly now, because I love you out of compassion. We have to stop suffering. We have a right to go back to Garden of Eden. We have a right to become superhumans again. Eat some food. Try. Try. I give you my word. If you hang on three months, you will see such change. Even after seven days, you will see such change. But after three months, your greatest problems and darkness attacking you, mental problems, they can cease. They are to cease. Many. Because this energy you will not put in yourself anymore. So it will not attack you anymore. You will close the gate. Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Try it. And you don't have to stop immediately. Become a vegan tomorrow. No, you can first stop eating cows and four legs animals. They have most emotions. You will suffer mostly in body, in spirit, in mind. If you eat that, you can start eating birds only, fishes. And then after some weeks or something like that, you can stop eating birds. You eat only fishes. And then after... Some time again you stop eating fishes, no more meat. And then when you are ready you stop dairy also. I know my suffering really stopped when I stopped milk. Really? Really? And milk is not such a problem. With milk you can actually ascend, you can get enlightened, no problem. But there is a higher stage than that. And I see myself, because I was long time just a vegetarian. And I see what happened after when I stopped. So I'm telling you from my own experience. Because I want everybody to be happy, even when things are not good. When things are not good, I said to myself, okay, it's not what I expected. It's not what I wanted. But I guess Source knows is best for me, so I surrender. If I would be eating meat still, I would hold on, I would try to not be a victim of this. No, this must, cannot end. I have to control it. I have to push it. I have to... No, I let go, I surrender. And I know diet is so important. What we put in, this we are. We eat no more suffering. We do not suffer anymore. It's all energy. Energy we receive. Energy we experience after. Actually, only thing I really give on is food. I don't say I don't have money for food, even if I... My donations and this are showing not nice. 
I know if I'm to eat the best that I can, I'm to give best results, and I'm to attract out of my purity the best things. So, I choose to eat nicely, quality, you know, and on the end, I found ways that it's not even more expensive than if I would not eat it. Universe will pro pro provide, don't follow fear. Give your body best food, you will get best energy, and you will do best things, change for the better. Let go of eating that. You are not a tomb. You're not a tomb, you're a temple. You're not a tomb, you're a temple. <laughs> this was a little heavy, so, but it's worth out of love. And I have another heavy topic. This topic, I said, this video is more beautiful without giving you heavy things. Backwashing into family line. Many do this, no? Blaming father and mother for what they did. Not accepting that they don't accept your truth, that they don't accept you. Trying to change it. They must understand you, they must this, they must that. You cannot forgive. My mother was bad to me, my dad. You know my life story. I have given few videos about it. My mother left me. My father beat me up when I was in the womb. He left me on the out freezing. He was drunk all over the country, driving me around as he stole me and like this. So I had beautiful first years of my life. And after also, grandmother never understood me. Grandfather sexually abused me. Oh, what do you want? Huh? I'm not a victim. I got from all parents such special treatment as I tell you now, from grandparents and from parents. And I don't hold no grudges. I'm not blaming my mother for leaving me. I understand she had to, her father would kill her. I'm not blaming my father for anything because this is he, he's learning and he doesn't learn. I cannot do nothing, he's still the same. So I don't have contact, any contact with him. I'm not blaming my grandmother, she was raised as she was and in fear and like this and wanted to control me. And I'm not blaming, blaming my grandfather for abusing me because I know he did it because of his own trauma and because he was pinned on the bed for 40 years and my grandmother left me with him that she should be smart enough not to do and take care of his sexual needs so she would not need to do. I understand them all who, my parents, grandparents and parents, who did me wrong. I'm not a victim. I'm a grown ass man. Responsible. I'm grateful for all these things as they made me a master so I can heal others who are going through this. You know? And some, they have even children. They have everything. But you can still not forgive your father, forgive your mother. You're still going on. You're maybe 60 years old, 70, 80, and you're still blaming your father, your mother for what they did. That's insanity. You have a child, grandchild even. You know? And you are acting like brat. You never grown up and become a real child, childlike. 
you always become that angry, you will always remain that angry child, you know, that's angry on everyone and blaming. You never grow up, you never become childlike. And your children don't need that. Children need a man and a, or a woman who will tell, show them that we have to forgive. Not of somebody who will tell them what their grandmother did. No, no. Somebody who will make them understand why she did it. That's why Hope Source blesses me to have children one day. So I can teach them very well. Guide them in this world. This world will not just change to heaven. They are from heaven, children. This world is gradually changing. So stop backwashing into your family line, please. Let go. And if your father, mother don't understand you and your path and like this, fuck it. They don't have to. Why you want to control them? Love them as they are or don't. Even Jesus said, For, forgive those who you can. So, just let go. Just let go. I love this. All masters have some contradictory statements. Jesus also. And it's beautiful because reality is multidimensional. We have to let go. And I encourage everyone to forgive everyone. And to forgive doesn't mean you let them beat you. To forgive means I forgive you, but sorry, you I will not put up with this anymore. You will never see me again, but I forgive you. That's how I've forgiven my father. I forgive you. I love you. There's no grunge from me in your heart, but sorry, I will not put up with this from you. I don't need this in my life. I will love you from far, but you are forgiven, and probably until you change, you will never see me again. Like this. I've forgiven him, but I have no contact. You know? I give him my word. They don't have to accept you. They don't have to agree with you. If you can dance with them, very nice. If you cannot, forgive them from far. Here I will correct Jesus. Forgive everyone, but you don't have to put up with shit from anyone. You can forgive them and you can walk away. Actually, this is what he meant. You will forgive yourself. And you will just allow them to be who they are. They cannot accept you. You cannot change them. You can only love them as they are. No problem. If you can put up with their presence, that's one thing. If you cannot, that's another. And both are okay. You should not suffer. And if you don't forgive your parents, you don't accept them as they are, you will suffer also, you will carry this around. Like I see 70, 60 year old people who still bitching about their parents. Stop that. If I tell you my story, you will be silent forever. Yes, he closed you up in a closet, so what? I could forgive my family and you can also. No. So now let us end really with something very beautiful. These points were very heavy, but I have some beautiful thing, which I forget at the time and was most important. Adventure. Adventure. Gemini is all about adventure. Doing something new, doing something fresh. Doing something which you never did before. You know. Have a little adventure. Try it out. You know. You never went naked outside in the street. Go for it. <laughs> I never painted my cold 
I never painted my things in pink, but now I did. And it's beautiful. I feel amazing. I feel like a little girl. It's beautiful. And I'm actually want some adventure. Want some something that spices up my life. Something I never did again before. And one astrologer, she's very lovely. I love to listen to her. And in her video, she said about this adventure she was speaking also. And she said that she did this. And she's an old lady, like you can see, she's over 60, you know. And she said she asked a motorbike rider if he can take her for a ride. And he said, yes, come on, hop in. And she said it was amazing. Yeah, that kind of thing, you know. Get crazy, do something. And she said, I felt so younger, I felt so good, and we had such a beautiful conversation. <laughs> yeah, this is adventure. Adventure. Divine comedy. Spice your life up. Do that crazy thing you wanted to do, but you will fear not to do, and you will never regret it. I give you my word. <laughs> There is love appearing on the hor horizon. Go for it. That's the greatest adventure. It should last forever. Be crazy. Be adventurous. That really gives you life. And I have a little bit stagnant life. Teaching. Going meditation, teaching, going meditation, people coming for, for advice, for healing. I need adventure, hey, come on. I'm a little boy who loves adventure like Krishna. I get out like this, so I have to change that, I have to go for adventure. Actually, when I go playing the flute and like this in the city, it's always adventure, but I need more adventure. <laughs> If adventure is offering to you something that spices your life up, something crazy, just do it. Just do it, I give you my word. This is beautiful. Be mindful. Always also. But not fear. Not fear. Fear is false evidence of fear real. Love is real. Choose love. Choose adventure. If you feel it's okay, it's okay. If you feel it's fear, just feel. And give it a shot. You know? Yeah, I know it's crazy. It's crazy that what you want to do. You never did it before. Just do it. Like that lady, she hopped on motorbiker and she's over 60. And it was beautiful. She never in her life, she said she did this. <laughs> when she was young even. Now, old woman, she did, and she felt immediately 40 years younger. <laughs> That's what adventure gives you, you know. That's what adventure gives you. Mm. So that's it for my add-on second part video. These points I forgot. There are more points, but these are my points. What I really wanted to emphasize on. And once again, I will give you my flute. Can I give you my flute? No, I'm not asking you. If you don't like my flute, you don't have to listen. <laughs> but I'm to play a flute for you a little bit. Because I want to do it, because flute is actually me. And when Todd told me you should play flute more, he actually, yes, because flute is me. If I can play when it's warm, all day in the city, and I should play to you also, no? Yeah, so I will say end words after my flute, and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of my flute. <laughs> I love you. Adventure. I want adventure, actually, you know? We all want adventure. We all want change for better, but if we don't let go of the old, we will not change for better. We will never choose fear. Never, never, ever. <laughs> so, here's my fruit. Needs repair. Your donation is very welcome.
actually for my life also, for everything. If you feel I'm giving something beautiful, you are free to also give something beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, it needs repair. That's why I have to here really always. Actually, outside it doesn't even play. Here is air is okay. No, no, no. Tune yourself always. Tune yourself. Be mindful. Be tuned. Very good. You know. If it's sound not coming right, you're not expressing yourself, okay. You have to tune yourself. I have problems with this flute. But no problem. I'm more stubborn than flute. You know me.
actually, you see how I was playing this. First was sad, then I same melody, and it became jolly. So you see, change for the better. Just different vibration. First, the song was very sad, and the end, it became jolly. So it's all about change to the better. Accept the better. You know? Be happiness. Change the rhythm. Let the song remain the same, it has to be happy. Sing the same song if you have to, but sing it happy. Choose that ever fresh, new thing offering to you and change for the better. Let go of everything. Become better. Do what you never did before. Have adventure. And please be blessed. And thank you. I hope this video inspired you. And if somebody feels in their heart to support my work, I always put link down in the comments. You're so welcome because without this, I could not do nothing. And this is the only thing what I want to do and what God wants me to do. But my heart. And this is what I love to do. And some say I help them. So I guess they do. So... They help me also. Everybody helps me. We help each other. We are walking each other home. We reach enlightenment so we can shine the light to others. They can follow and become greater than us. And then Master is happy. So be blessed. And namaste. Energies are very intense in this moon. I know I'm Germany. I know. I know. I go resting now. And you please. Be blessed and thank you for listening. But most grateful I am if you heard. Namaste. Namaste. Love you all. Mwah.